Hello everyone, welcome to World of Tanks, I'm Nimbus and I will in this video I will talk about the 416 uh, Tier 8 Russian medium uh, flat tank, rear mounted turrets very uh, bad with gun depression um, this even has a lock turret from over there to over there aroundish um, it, as you can see, it doesn't play really like a medium. It is actually a uh, boom and zoomer, in my opinion. It goes to the side of a tank, turns its turret, fires once, maybe twice if the enemy isn't paying attention, and then you continue along your road. The power of this thing is the low hull and a pretty strong turret. Um, I have um, not a lot of experience with people bouncing on the turret, but the turret with 110 millimeters of armor and pretty sloped should give some protection. Um, as I said, the uh, it doesn't play like your regular TD. It is a uh, regular medium. I'm sorry. Um, it's more of a boom and zoomer. But in my experience, I didn't have much luck using it like that. Um, with my experience, I know I had a lot of, in my opinion, terrible games. Uh, rarely I was lucky on having good games. And I decided to, you know what, screw it, I will make a new style for myself. Um, that's what this video is about. Um, I will explain a little bit about the style that I thought of. It's like, um, I looked up the stats and because of the low profile of this tank, the um, cabin value is above the average of the tier 8 TDs. Um, so it can stay hidden very well and with the high rate of fire and the good gun if combined that it is um, it can be used as a medium TD um, so that's basically the style that I uh, in made for myself uh, that I use this thing as a medium TD up till uh, mid late game and then rush in as medium and take off the last many hit points. Um, I have three games to show you after I show the gun because this gun is really um, interesting. It's a uh, standard Russian medium 100 millimeter uh, cannon. It has a, f a really high rate of fire, 7.5 runs per minute, especially if I compare it with the T-44s, uh, same tier uh, 100 millimeter, top one on 100 millimeter, the LB1 gun. So back to the brush. And if I put them oh, side to side, I will. You can uh, see the uh, top gun of the T44, almost the same rate of fire, but less pen. Uh, 201 on the uh, M63 uh, gun of the Object 416. Um, 320 damage um, in comparison with 250 accuracy in favor of the uh, T44 top gun aim times the same and uh, weight we don't really care about uh, another thing that is uh, noticeable if you look at the uh, type of shells they carry the T44 with this uh, LB1 carries AP APCR and the stand high explosive while the object 416 instead of APCR gets high explosive anti-tank with increased pen to 330 millimeters of penetration as if the 201 millimeter of penetration isn't enough the gun of the 416 is that for a favor in comparison with the T44's 235 millimeters of penetration when this tank meets tier 10 so I've shown you gun and just looking at the DPM and the damage output with the penetration the object 416 is the favorable tank 
if you look at uh, close range combat or actually flanking combat with higher tiers even so the object 416 has no armor whatsoever except the front bit of the turret and even so in tier 10 games it is negated so very easily that you die well almost everything pens you which will well you'll see in the replays if I get hit or not another fun f another fact about uh, the armor um, is that the frontal hull armor 75 millimeters is actually only this trip and because you're so flat everyone that is higher than you which is like I said almost everyone will shoot on your engine deck right over here and you will have a very very high chance of catching fire besides that the ammo rack of the 416 is in the side around here don't remember really much where but I've had situation that if I get hit somewhere around here in the side uh, front side of uh, yeah front side turrets like around here or here one of the two um I uh, I have experienced that I got almost instantly ammo wrecked or ammo wrecked that I just I see my turret flying and it's game over but that's uh, I can tell more about the tank like about its incredible view range incredible traverse but um well actions speak louder than words so without further ado let's continue to the first game hello everyone and welcome to my first game in object 416 um, I will be honest this is a replay the replay of myself um, I'm top tier top tier medium um, there are a lot of average players according to XVM uh, we're on our aloof standard battle I'm going to the north and I'm basically trying out my new approach of the object 416 looking at the stats it has good camo good um, good gun good accuracy so I'm going to try and look long range there's something strange happening okay it fixed itself if I look at the enemy there is one guy that has unicum stats so it will be interesting again some exchange happening I uh, wish it fixed itself Uh, uh, looking, uh, and what you saw right there was RT. Well, I wouldn't say RT justice. It it is RT being RT. If you have a paper thin tank shown the side to where the RT is, you die with ease. So I compliment on the RT on a nice shot, especially with the accuracy nerf. This is a really good shot. AC48 has his, uh, yeah, his Nixon twist. He really hates it. Um, I see the big amount of enemy tanks concentrating CD line, and I think I can go around, uh, ignoring the tanks on the left. Well, ignoring, I see a uh, E25, and I shot. Didn't know why my reticle went like that, but my shot went right. And now I bounced on the E25 side or wherever the shot went into his side. Maybe track ground? I don't know. It is tracks at least. Well, I'll go lower to try to evade leering eyes. And I'll go around to where the enemy forces are concentrating.
What is the first thing on our meal ticket? It is a Juicy Comet. Hello, Juicy Comet. Oh, you don't like me. He, he took my gun. I repair it immediately. This... I see Knarf behind me. He has a pre-jack gun. Panty 88 was coming down. Comet was coming down. So I'm asking for help. Hopefully the Knarf knows that I'm talking to him. Knarf is his affirmative. I know affirmative. I say okay. I understand that you help me. Thank you. So go forward. Hoping for what I'm seeing. And I see yes of two heavy tanks and a Panther. Panther comes down. Put a nice shot into him. He puts a shot into me. I evade his ram. Knarf and gets a shot in. I get another shot in. Trying to get around. He gets hit by something. I don't see. Probably the T-71. That was a shot. Sadly going to the left. In his uh, angled side armor. He puts another shot into me. But my shot is faster. And he dies. Look at Tiger. Tiger just ran off. Couldn't shoot him. Pant actually tanks me and says that I need to kill their team. Well, okay. Well, 7-0. We have a bad game at the moment. Yes, Knarven. I get a shot off. Can I? Yep. Right in his ass. Common goes around. He misses. Knarven dies. Oh, Centurion. Sorry. Sorry. He dies. Common gets shot into me. There's the Knarven. I'm sorry. I mistook you for something else. I'm like, okay, let's try to get it into your ass. I track you, track him. He turns around and... Can I get a shot? No, he was already dead. Time for the two T-29s. Feed of more kills. Well, feed. Get up more kills. T-29. That was a stupid shot. I go back. T-29 shoots the people behind me. I think there's a chance. Shoot him inside. And he gets killed by the tanks behind me. Another T29 in the back of the turret. Back of the turret of the T29 isn't that strong. So that was a pretty easy shot. I will like I expect him not to reload in time. This shot. This shot goes to the left. This is so it is one of those things like this is the accuracy nerf. This is like not many shots to go where you want them to be. Tank 2 is pretty high HP, could probably hit him. People behind me are shooting like crazy. Tiger 2 kills T71. And now there's only T28 prototype. Now this is actually the interesting part of this replay. I know the weak spots I know the weak spots of a T28 prototype. I've played the thing. I hope to find his side and oh shit that's his front I hope to, I hope to shoot his uh, his uh, cheeks shut up Russian shut up Russian crew I hope to shoot his cheeks that failed so I got sent on fire as punishment engine damaged track hits Russian crew bitching. I see the T20 prototype looking at me. I wouldn't survive another hit. So I'm just keeping him concentrated on me. Just spotting him, concentrated, and bam! ISU finishes him off. Who's left? Lorraine15550. T7 Auntie. No clue where he is. He isn't spotted. But I'm not. Because I'm still spotted, I'm not going out of this. Who knows he's up there. So I think it's safe. I'll come out. A just a line of heavy tanks driving forward. Tiger one, she killed me. I have no idea what the Tiger one's talking about. Probably drunk, like bidding uh, last time uh, a few nights ago when we did our skirmish. God he was drunk. And that's the game. T34 killed Lorraine 155. Did 2.8k damage. And now I will see you in the garage to. Because I actually recorded the results screen this time. <laughs>
then decide like, oh, wait, I can do this. So I will see you in the garage where I say probably a few stuff different. So I'm sorry for that. See you in the garage. And welcome back to the garage. Um, that was a very good game. It just looking at here, um, potential damage over 1k, uh, I got 3.5k uh, XP, I got first place in the team, 10k profits, that is minus, that's with cost uh, reduced, and I got a W and 8 one of 3.8, now let's see a little bit closer details, I got a first class monster badge, and it is so shiny, so it's not my first time, it's, it is also my first time, sorry for my language. Got fire for facts, no kidding. Got spotter, no kidding. Got duelist, you seen the replay, no kidding. Got bruiser, nice. 1.7, let's round it to 1.7. I go on 100, so 1.7k spotting, 2.8 damage, really nice. Still sad about that T28 prod. You're a lucky bastard. It is that I stood so close that I got this. Uh, the, his remaining HP is uh, spotting. Okay, well, let's look at team score. Highest damage, highest uh, XP. Well, highest XP at least. Yes, also highest damage. Uh, let's see. Here's the GW Panther. All oh, that shot was beautiful. You can't deny that 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 shot on the what was it? The AMX AC. Uh, yes, I think the AMX AC48. Um, sorry, uh, there was problems with recording, so it, there's some time between the game and this. For some reason, my mic stopped working. But let's let's leave that behind. Only two people died in our team. Uh, Churchill didn't drove the far. Was you would almost think he was in the base and being arted, which isn't true. Tiger two and T29. Uh, T71. Ah, Spotty, he was uh, destroyed in the base. So that would be the Tiger 2. That's what we saw in the last time. Don't actually know when the T29 destroyed our church though. 0 0.61 could be. I don't know. In any case. Very nice. 70 shots fired. 13 were hits. 10 actually penetrated. And for 10 penetrations I have a 2.8k uh, damage. So. Or a few low rolls. Or one of them penetrate says penetration but is not actually a penetration um, received five pens were full one put me on fire scared the shit out of me because I was already low HP uh, one non penetration was of the comet seeing the damage bug armor also really really low was really annoying is that um, lately the damage damage bug armor calculation and stuff have been uh, low, tremendously low. As it looks like they tweaked with it again, and I don't know how it works. I got once got hit by multiple ice trees and still didn't say that I got hit by them, even though it was really damage block by armor. Because no damage was reduced of me, and no tracking and shit. Okay, um, enemy vehicles damaged and destroyed. Seven damage, two destroyed. If I destroyed one less or I hit another tank before it got destroyed, I would actually have gotten a confederate. Would be nice, metal. I won't deny. Almost 2.5 clicks uh, moved. Um, I have premium, so 1.7, 1.8k XP. Um, multiplied makes 3.5k XP. If I didn't have premium, I still would have gotten 1.1k. Uh, times 2 is 2.3k. What is noticeable that I used so much ammo or consumables. Pro no, I, but I used so much ammo. 20k resupply for ammo would have got. Uh, Without Prime, I would have gotten a loss. Could also be because I damaged my vehicle or because I used consumables. But I can honestly say, lucky I have premium, 10k profit. Which, yeah, really nice. And that's it for that game, so. Let's continue on, shall we? 
Hello. Um, last time, last game was a replay. Honestly, said because I wasn't actually expecting to record that one. Now I'm now I am, and we are on poor I am alone in in my four one six mid tier. I say mid tier. Uh, there are no tier sevens. Tier eight's lowest. Um, three artists per game. Uh, enemy has GW Tiger P M forty M forty three. Actually, forty two. So. Those, ta those three. Jido Tiger P gets at max a 200 mil. 14-2 gets a B4 203 mil, and the M1443 gets an 8 inch. I am now going to try get around the heavies into the alleyway that is actually up there. Why am I not going the other way? Because I want to evade those pesky light tanks. This is actually an easy way to evade us. Um, our side, uh, RT wise, has a SU 42 GW Tiger P, so those two are the same. But we get a tier 9 RT, a Batchat 15555. The tier 9 RT that has probably the fastest reload of any RT uh, of the tier. Why is it probably? This only has a 155 and it's pretty accurate. So I should say it's the most accurate and. Yeah, I shouldn't talk about it. Okay. Um, heavies, TDs aren't that nicely placed. They ha We have all the heavies there with most of the TDs. And holy shit! While I was talking, I didn't pay attention to the map. I should you know the thing I should have done. There are is no one that went to the oh to the uh, there, which is northeast west side. No one went to the west side, so. It's a problem. I sh okay. I didn't expect the ISU to retreat like a little cunt. Well, it is TD, but he's actually out behind the TDs. Uh, by our TDs, behind the RTs. The IS3 is actually going up front. Looks like he's been hit. Don't know if that is because of uh, he fell down. And uh, like I said, the garage uh, part. Um, This thing has no armor, but it has a nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the view range. View range, um, 380 uh, standard. Um, my view range. If you look uh, on right top of my zoom bolts, it says my actual view range. That is uh, 20. Uh, 20. 396.3. I use says that he has his stock. Aizu has a, oh shit, a 122D25S. Okay, anyone who's watching this, if you're an ISU, if you're an SU-152, never, ever use anything else except for the derp gun. The derp gun is God. Just... Wow, he wants me. No, and I'm going for the prototypes. Okay. Oh, never mind. That has been revoked. Uh, nice shot, Ice 3. Nice shot would have been a one. Okay. Um, That shot was a nice shot, right in his... That was a calculated shot, trying to get his um, track off. Uh, Ice3 wants me to help. Yeah, you, you get me to help, it's just that... Uh, there he is. Holy shit, I can see them. Oh, are you for real? Yeah. 
Oh, low roll. Damn it. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to reduce the amount of uh, guns that's trying to kill our team. Oh. Uh, fucking A. Sorry, mate, you're still visible. That T-54 lightweight is just annoying the fuck out of me at the moment. Also, that... That RU-152? Dutch. I am not truck... Uh, I'm not uh, very prideful about my... Uh, countrymen saying that. Because I'm Dutch as well. He just said get Ebola and that I... I'm a monkey with cancer. Okay, get kids don't swear with cancer. Cancer is a horrible disease. My mother died because of it. Okay, reason I'm now standing like this is to meet the T-54 lightweight. I will now concentrate on the T-54 lightweight for a moment. I just... That was lucky. I bounced his gold shell. Where did I bounce him? Ah, he, he shot, accidentally shot me straight in the turret. That was lucky. Oh, the timeout, the Dutch guy, he just... Run for his run. He is was probably watching the uh, the other guy. Oh, oh! But that are you one five two? He was probably watching that WZ. Uh, WZ T fifty four, and I was so lucky with that one. Um, third class. Well, still did better than 50% of people who drive this thing. Bell buddy. I don't think I deserve that one. I left people. Um, tracked him and killed his engine. Nice. <laughs> Hit the sound rack if you think. That's probably the reason why he didn't out DPM me. Um, so, I'm pretty lucky. Got third place. 820 uh, XP. Ice3 deserves that XP. He did a really good job. Didn't see what he did, but he deserves it. He um, he hold that flank off together with ISU that was stupid enough to take a one, two, two. See, gets this is what happens if you take an ISU one five two and use a one two two, you die, with low damage and low XP. Uh, he deserves it. He hold them off. I shot long range. Um. Are you two for one? You get a timeout by getting on my black list. You don't swear with Kens in my region, you bastard. Even though you're Dutch, I hate you already. Um, twelve shots, eight hit, eight penetrated. So all my hits also penetrated, and my four shots that I missed just fuck off. Uh, just like last game, five received, four pen, one bounce, blocked. A pretty nice one. So the best way to describe this thing would be a sneaky bastard. The gun is good for long range, your army isn't, you can flank, but like in that situation, three to four enemy tanks, if they all concentrate on you, you're dead, so I already use my way. Long range, try to keep your distance like a frontline CD. Probably the best way to play this. Especially in that game. The one there's another game that I thought of uh, recording. Um, I had two mid top tier games. And I thought, well, let's see if my new tactic also works in tier 10. This is Westfield. Again, 4-1. Six no allies, and this is really the bottom of the barrel. <coughs> I 
I am going to the most common medium spots. Um, basically because I have no gun depression, so if I go to where the T-54 is, I have no chance of shooting people. Or I have a chance, but not a big one. I can't really recommend this position where I am, it's not a very good one. Um, about the mediums, there's one. E50, enemy. Got a lucky sign him. The other one is M46 pattern. M46 pattern, if it has the top gun, has 218mm of penetration. E50M, uh, with one of five, I think 250, 240. I uh, know. I know that the um, one on the E50 is bad. Is uh, bad. Well, I say bad. It's around 200. And the one on, on the uh, other, the other one is better. The uh, one, the one on the 50M is better. I don't know with how much, but took the kill. E50 appeared again. Nice, he's tracked, got a shot in, and he's dead. Only medium at the moment, which is still alive, is the M46 pattern. The only one you expect to be here at the moment. And holy shit, that is one of the things you don't expect on this side. A Waffentrager LV100. I've played that thing, not my style. 55 50 second reload for your entire clip i just hate that and um, that is basically the reason why oh what an e100 are they platoons no they're not platoon why the i just ran into a death trap oh but they should come I'm your average World of Tank player. I forget what I was doing. Uh, okay, if the Waffentrake goes back, I have him. He's already dead. Arty spotted. Pattern going in. Uh, can I go through and hit the E100 in his ass? I have heat. I am going to prepare to load the site heat. Uh, 201 millimeter of penetration isn't that good for penning E100s. Uh, did he spot me? I don't think so, I'll just... But just because I want good penetration, I'll fire heat. And I predicted the right shell to be the last one. Reload, come on, reload. Ah, too bad. Oh, oh, side of a Yak Pen 100. Oh. But this was a good game. Okay, so here's the result screen. Victory! It was a pretty good game. Um, I think that if that I was lucky at most, uh, my gun did penetrate. I maybe I didn't have to load the heat, but that E100 had to go. Um, even though I fired, I think five heat rounds on my. Rounds of the in the E100 were heat, so four heat rounds. Still, 8k plus, 1312 XP, 
2.6k oh, damage. I hit his loader, Patton, fuel tank, RU, tracked him. Nice. Um, but that was a pretty decent game. I got dirt in XP. Third, in, uh, um, the SU 254 got on top, and then the AMAC. Well, the AMAC got, yeah, 4k spotting. Uh, you, he did really. He did a fantastic job. SU. Tank Destroyer, second best scout, 2.5k spotting, probably, uh, well, looking at the amount of shots, he might, with 10 shots with that gun, because, uh, I didn't see what gun he had, but, I think it, it was the top 1 to 2, then you, with 10 shots and hits, I think he tracked people, I think he tracked a lot of people, so, good, deserved, first two places on XP, I got third, I got a tank snipe as well because as here calculator 90% over 90% of my shots hit and did damage okay uh, well 11 fights 10 hits only one didn't penetrate apparently um, 300 meters full damage to destroy 180 assistance Hmm. Oh yeah, the by damage done I came second after after the RT in a tier ten match the RT did the most damage. How many shots did you fire? Four, f four shots fired, three kills. Nice. That's a nice job of T92. But I'm still surprised that I got top damage uh, because of this. Um. I can. Well, so my tactic also works in tier 10, even though I uh, think I'm lucky. Uh, fired at 3 tier 10s, a T9 and a tier 8 scout. Uh, the Yak Benzie 100 shot sadly didn't penetrate. I needed heat for that one, probably. Uh, even though it was a sign, maybe I didn't see where the shot landed, maybe in his uh, armored skirts. But very well done game, and those are... Uh, that. That's it for my third replay so see ya thank you for watching uh, this video about my object 416 I hope that it was well, first of course fun to watch and secondly that if people have trouble with the 416 and they can maybe use this kind of gameplay or thought of it themselves. I don't know. Maybe people can use this. And I thought, well, it's worth a try. Then I'm happy that I could have helped. Um, besides that, if you the, the usual standoff, if you like this content, please press a like. Um, if you want more of this, please subscribe. And if you want to and especially if you want me to do more of this World of Tanks kind of content, uh, please say so in the comments. Um, and be well, one last thing I suddenly remembered uh, before I go off is I am incredibly sorry about my mic's performance. The um, input for some reason is all broken or dirty I need to check it out uh, some other time um, incredibly busy lately um, well I hope you forgive me for my uh, terrible mic in this case so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time see ya